We are again at the Las Vegas Savers, this time in my car because we fucking live here now. We literally just got here like a couple days ago and we're desperate to get back to thrifting because of course it feels like an eternity. So there is a vlog gonna be on the way, of course. I know a lot of you are like begging for vlog content and also I am dying to put one out, but that one's gonna take longer to edit. So of course we thought we better put out a thrift video for y'all and see what kind of goodies we can find today because they always have the goods in the savers. So I'm excited to get back in there and see what we can get because now not only do I want new stuff for myself but also for whatnot my depop etc and even some things for the house if I can manage it so let's go it's a nice little Disney pair <laughs> New York cute sad actually he's not sad I thought that was a big teardrop but it's just his spots paper shredder pink that actually sounds like a great thing for to have documents right I'm kind of intrigued or if it works I know right Every time I put my checks anywhere, it seems I ruin them. So I have a lot of checks to shred for like the second time in a month. <laughs> Might be worth a shot. Pathetic. Yeah, I keep on trying to cut them with my Hello Kitty scissors, but they're not strong enough to cut through all of them because they're brand new. I'll consider this. Yeah, try it out. Now that I don't have to ship it home. Yeah. Because we live here. Woo woo woo. Betty Boot Glass. That's pretty cute. It's cute, kind of faded. I like that guy. What we got here? Um, these look like they'd be cute for our little patio, maybe, or something. Yeah. Who knows if these work either? Donkey. Oh, man. Hello. This might be what you do your makeup in, huh? Oh, fuck. What is this thing? Any <laughs> price on that thing? Only $10. 10 Yeah. Should I get it? I know that could fit in the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all will see how much we fit in the car at the vlog. Stay tuned. My goodness. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that face. Handsome. Something. This for Garfield Cora? Hell no. Oh, crazy looking Cartman. <laughs> Cartman lost some weight. Oh my god. We already finding some stuff. Ooh. Hello. Quack quack. Got a lot going on. Color is Oh yeah. Those are cool. I wish the colors were different, but yeah. they're pretty cute. Polka dots. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That's dope. These are fabulous. $24. Honestly, Damn. this is like a really rare pattern, I bet, though. I've never seen this one before. So size 5, so that'd be like a women's 7, right? Men's 5. Uh, yeah, usually that's how it works. Yeah, I'll be looking that up. This is kind of crazy. Yeah, those are cool. You what do you got oh, here? What is that? Little Raiders slippers. Oh my goodness. Oh. Go Raiders. Go Raiders. <laughs> you need some new pool shoes, huh? These might be too big for me. Yeah, size 8. Ah, frick. Look at this Rockwear bag. Ooh. Still got the plastic on it. Crazy. Ten dollars? Is that worth it? Not to me. Not to me. It feels cuter. It's still cool, but it's cool. This little purse is cute. <laughs> Rock star glitter. So tacky, so precious. It's Hannah Montana. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Big bits. It's got a cute song. It's pretty cool. When you're oh. feet by Chinese Laundry. Chinese Laundry is like Y2K. Those are pretty dope. Yeah, those are cool. I like them. What size are these supposed to be? Eight? Those are about an eight. They might fit me though. I'll put them in the cart. I'll yeah. try to remember to try them on, but for sure. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna get buried under this big ass chair. Seriously. I'm so glad I found this chair though right away. Yeah, you've been already talking about how you need one. I know. And it's like, I don't want to buy a new one if I don't have to. Yeah, so. for sure. Like, you just never know when you're gonna come across that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's like I don't really look at stuff like that a lot when we're thrifting. Yeah. At least dollhouse. Ooh. ooh. Snake skin. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool, like, shape. They're kind of cool looking. Kind of weird. <laughs> kind of bow like. They're like so ugly, they're kind of cute. Some Betsy Johnson shoes. Ooh, we should have looked at what the tag of the day is or whatever. Oh, yeah. I think it usually says on the end of some aisles. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Cover up? Yeah. Mm -mm. It's kind of fun. It's giving you some junk. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's from Target Exhilaration. They always did have cute swim stuff. American flag. The America. You and, uh, you and a friend could form a union. Yeah, that's cute. That's a one. Fun. That's pretty cute. Hearts and scrunches. Arizona. Mm. Hustle. It's pretty cute. It's not Hustle established. <laughs> Hustler. Oh, really? Crazy. Hey. My first Vegas hustler piece. Yeah. Hey. With the come up over yes. here. I want more of that. It's like strangely 
cool. Interesting colors together. Yeah, I like that, like, stripe. It's, like, really weird. Yeah. But, like, cool. <laughs> Through the aisle. It's, like, super into zebra shit lately. Gotta check it out, you know? All right, y'all, it's time for me to wander off on my own and do some thrifting. So I first went over to the skirts because they usually have some cute ones. This one was okay, but the pleats were like a little too thick. Something was like kind of off about it, so I put it back. Next, I found this top by BB, which I really liked the colors of and I loved the side cutouts, but the material was like really thin and flimsy and they were asking a little bit too much for it. If the material was thicker and like sturdier, I probably would have grabbed that one. Next I found this zebra print skirt, which originally I was like, oh this is pretty cute, but then I realized it's not short enough, it's not like trashy and make blingy enough. So I of course had no choice but to put this one back too. Next I found these South Pole like Capri style shorts, which these also like they would have been way cuter if they were micro mini shorts. So I put these in the cart for a minute. I just love that pink embroidery on the front so much and the back pockets but I later decided they just weren't cute enough. Then I found this dress, which I really liked how neon yellow it truly was, and I loved the little bow, but they wanted a whole ass $19 for this dress. And I could just tell by the material that it was not gonna end up being a good brand. And to my shock and absolute horror, there we have it, it is Shein. Are you freaking kidding me? Savers, like what? Then I found this Kappa baby tee, which I've been really into Kappa lately. And this one was only $4 and I had my coupon to use. So this one will be for sale in my Depop. I almost grabbed this top cause I really like the green and pink color combo, but it would have been way cooler if it was like an actual Jersey material. So I also decided to put that one back. I'm always kind of a sucker for a good like dragon graphic, whether it's modern or old. So I had to spend a little time looking at this one. And I don't know what's going on with this, but weasels are one of my favorite animals, so I had to give it a little extra time. This one I totally would have grabbed if it was just like 50% off. Like they wanted a little too much for it, but I do like how totally tacky this thing is, and it does have zebra print and a fleur de lis, so kind of a shame, but I did have to put that one back. I thought the colors on this little Journey baby tee were so gorgeous, and it is the brand Chaser, which is sold at Free People. So this thing probably retailed like $50, but if it was at the bins, I totally would have grabbed it. And I always like looking at the kids section because you will find some small adult size stuff occasionally, like this extra extra small Aeropostal baby tee, which is just so cute and somebody's gonna love it, so that one's gonna be in my Depop. I'm just gonna go over my potentials quick so the battery's gonna die, so I'll have to meet you guys at home. This guy was cool. These shoes, which are pretty crazy. Route 66. It's crazy, like, fender long sleeve. I don't know about it, though. It's like $11. This glittery Playboy is kind of cool. There's this Grateful Dead, but it's like $8 and from, like, last year, so we'll see. All right, y'all, it's finally time to discuss these finds that we got at the Savers. We do not have a couch yet, and the lighting is way better out here than it is in the bedroom, so we're just gonna stand in front of our in-unit laundry for the moment until we get a real couch. But I'm going to start with these because, obviously, um, these are fabulous. These are a women's seven, men's five. Some people are always confused because I've sold these before that like it'll say five on the bottom that it's a women's five but these are always unisex shoes even though they're pretty crazy and out there believe it or not Converse pretty much always does a unisex sizing and they lean towards the men's for whatever reason so these are a very desirable size and knee-high Converse are pretty desirable right now I would say in the last like year or so like a lot of people are really searching for them so this was a really good pickup even though it was $24 um, I after my discount paid like 20 so like still very worth it because you can easily pretty much right now get over a hundred dollars for shoes like this so yeah and they're like such a rare pattern like I've never seen this one before so very happy that I found these yeah those are crazy I got this robot from Yo Gabba Gabba my name is Black he is a backpack <laughs> I know, pretty sick. Let me show you. Here he is in all of his glory. He was $7, but what can you do? <laughs> what the hell can you do? He's worth $7. I'd say so. See if there's a date on this anywhere. 2012. So yeah, I don't know. I thought it was just weird enough to pick up. He'd be a good rave buddy. It's a good rave buddy. Mm -hmm. 
for sure. So uh, lately I'm obsessed with wearing bikini tops as tops with like a hoodie over them or like a cropped hoodie. So I was really excited to find this Union Jack kind of pattern one from Exhilaration. It's a size small and I think it'll be the perfect thing. It even look good with what I'm wearing right now if I wanted to. So this one I am gonna keep and I'm excited to get to wear it now that I finally filled it. <laughs> Next up I have these crazy shoes. They are actually from Route 66, which I don't remember if that is like a Target or a Walmart or what it is, but I know it's something crazy like that. I like, wanna say Walmart. Like, look at these. It's got like bones and swords and keys and skulls. See, it's focusing on the shoelace. Let's focus on that pattern. There we go. Big thing there. They're like skate shoe style and they're like a men's eight and a half. So I thought those are a really cool pickup and pretty unique. Had to get them. All right, another absolute banger of a bikini top. We have this Hustler one, which I didn't even like assume was gonna be Hustler until I saw the tag. Cause this like seems like a style and color pattern that like they don't normally do. Like a lot of their stuff is just like black and hot pink, black and hot pink or black and white. So it was really surprising for me to find this very yellow, blue and pink color scheme. But that like gold H in the center is so freaking cute. And this one is on my Depop right now. So if you like it, um, I think it's about $26 and people have been interested in it. So if you're a fan, maybe scoop that thing up. Yeah, I got this Playboy t-shirt. You know, not that crazy of a piece and it was like $5, but I thought it was good enough to get. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's like silver glittery print. If that's not showing up the, that way, that is what it is. Size large too, which makes it a pretty good size all around. So now I can finally list this on Depop. That's where I'm going to be listing a lot of my stuff, so check my Depop out. All right, I always find at least one really cute, like, adult shirt in the kids section, I feel like, and this time it was this one, the Life is Short Go Shopping, which is a size extra, extra small from Aeropostale. So that one will fit the exact way that you want it to when you're looking for a cute little baby tee. So this one is also available in my Depop currently for about, also, I think, $26. If you are interested, that one is available at this moment. I also also found this one which matches the hoodie that I'm wearing currently very well it's a kappa fitted baby tee if you're a size large so on me this would be more oversized but judging by the measurements this is very body hugging on a true size large so this one is also available on my Depop right now if you are a fan I've been super into the kappa stuff lately I really want to find the kappa slides like super bad to match my new track jacket so here's hoping and these I have nothing but a tragic story to tell you guys because as you can see they aren't quite what they used to be and some of you may be like, well, Brooke, those were always fucking ugly shoes anyway, so why did you even get those? Well, these are ugly in a sneaker heel kind of way where they're just so weird that they're cute. It's like, it's giving like sporty, like blow cat, but like also just like, yeah, kind of low key ugly, like a sneaker heel. So that's why I liked them. And I really like this lightning bowl right here. And they're also from the brand Chinese Laundry, which is just like a super early 2000s shoe brand that you used to see like in um, like all the like the magazines like in the early 2000s like there'd always be like the page of like the trendy shoes and I'd always see the brand Chinese Laundry in there so it just feels nostalgic also and this one like it was gonna be a little too big for me anyway but I still wanted to wear them and <laughs> the last few times we went to the bins I made some pretty bad shoe choices because I only moved here with like a third of my shoes Anna has the rest and she's gonna bring them to me eventually so I kept wearing like these really slippery like crazy shoes to the bins and then finally I was like I should wear these to the bins the first time I wear them because they actually have laces and they actually will hold my foot inside of them because I did almost like literally fall at the bins one day so I was like something's gotta change so I no more than wore these for probably 10 minutes I opened the door to the bins <laughs> And it literally just like peeled the f right off, like entirely. There was no chance in hell that I was gonna be able to like salvage the shoe basically. <laughs> so I immediately just said, what the f and threw the platform in the trash. And I walked around the bins like, <laughs> like a freak until I found these slippers that were like unworn, these like cheetah print, animal print slippers. They're a little small, but they clearly hadn't been worn. And I was like, that will do, I guess. Also not a safe choice for the bins, but safer than this, 
And this, as we all know, is a thing that happens with vintage shoes. I've always been really lucky in the past. This has never happened to me before, but this is a really good reminder to like really like squeeze and like try to bend as much as you can vintage shoes because there was no like sign that this was gonna happen. So very, very disappointing. Um, I, like I said, threw away the other piece. So there's no chance like any tips are gonna help me repair them. Um, it's too late. <laughs> so it is what it is, but those are rest in peace now. So the other great thing that I got during this haul that is a good investment and isn't gonna fall apart hopefully is this chair, which um, I can't believe I found immediately like right when we went on our first thrift trip because we were literally looking for a rolling chair like on Amazon to buy and I couldn't really even decide on one. I was kind of like, I don't know, a chair isn't like that, you know, important to me what it looks like. Like I kind of just wanted it to like match the rest of the house, which I am going for a black and white color scheme, except for like neon, kind of like hot pink and stuff like that. So the fact that I found this zebra chair, like is just so insane because I'm obsessed with zebra print lately and it fits the color scheme and it was literally $10 and I just couldn't be happier. So that was no doubt a really good trip. Even though it was a smaller trip, like what I like about that saver is like I said, is that I find stuff that I want to keep every time I go and you can't always be that lucky. So yeah. I almost completely forgot to mention, but I did get the paper shredder, you guys. It is literally just one that you like hand crank. So of course it works. Um, it's not the easiest thing to use, honestly. Like the way that you have to hold it in which to not get a paper cut and make sure the top doesn't fall off is a little wonky. However, I have already used this thing a ton and I love that it's hot pink and white. It matches our new desk perfectly and yeah i'm glad i got it so hell yeah if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and let us know what your favorite piece was and check out our depop our depops if you want to help us you know buy a couch so one of the next times we film a thrift haul we might actually have a place to sit down that'd be fucking awesome and check out my whatnot shows i usually do two a week and there's a code in the description below so you can get 15 dollars off your first purchase which means you can get something for literally free just pay the shipping because a lot a lot of my items don't even start that high. So we love you guys so much. We're happy to be back on YouTube and we will see you soon.